So, 2020, Black Friday, I got this too. On ATN, Ballistic Wrench 1000, Wrench Finder, Laser Wrench Finder, and the XI 4K, Recording 4K Pro 3 to 14 power. Very nice. So let's unbox this and see what's inside. Okay, first thing, let's take out the box. Here's the Ballistic. Laser range finder attachment to the rifle. It's 1,000. It says 1,000 meter effective range, and uh, it's about 1,063 yards conversion. Okay, and let's do the box. So we have the Smart HD Optic 1080p HD recording Ultra HD sensor. It's the XI 4K Pro. And the reason I want to use this because I'll be using this to shoot squirrels and pets, like um, pets, uh, rabbits, raccoons and stuff. So I need a view, field view. So if you can go with a 5 to uh, 25 power. I think the other one, it's just a field view, drops. The field view, for this one, I believe it's about this wide. And the other one drops to this much. So you get to see more with this. And I'm, I'm shooting within 100 yards with the air rifle. So I won't be needing the high power one to shoot 300, 400 yards. So this is perfect for me. I need to get a field view and it's within 100 yards. Okay, most likely it's about 20 to 30 yards away where my target is. And here's the box. Okay, you guys can read it, ballistic calculator. And you'll need the other box. This attachment. Dual streaming to your phone. An iPad. Recoil active activator. Means it will record 10 seconds prior to you pull the trigger and 10 seconds after. So you don't have to keep recording the entire time. Okay, so wrench finder. Compass. Dual code processor. That's very cool. Share on social media. One shot zero. Low battery. Consumption. And a profile. This is very important. If you have multiple guns, multiple calipers, multiple, even with the same gun, different bullets, you'll need this to set this up. So you can zero in each bullet. You just need to switch into a different profile. Okay, they all shoot different. And the back of this, daylight and night vision. The other side of the box. Fairly simple. Okay. So we'll open this one. Okay, update the firmware. And here it shows how to set up the IR illuminator and how to set up the laser ballistic wrench finder. Okay. Here it comes the bag, obviously. Really cool. Within the bag, there is a cord. USB cord with something. Uh, USB-C, I believe. Okay, so it's a newer version of the USB. Oh, great. The, it's the eye relief. That's nice. You can put your eye right on here and give you the exact eye relief where you can see it. And the front shade piece. I really like this too. I had to buy this separately for my outer scope. Come with a microfiber. So we'll put that back in there. So we remember what that is. And... Oh, nice. So it's a tall... Um, let's take a look. Let's find it. One inch. So one inch tall. Scope mount. Single. And... It is a... Also one inch scope mount with Pinkatelli rail on two sides. Very cool. So this two will work together. And there's a extended rail, and I believe that's probably also one inch. So, and the last one, I believe it's IR. Oh, okay, it does come with one. It does come with a its own rail with IR illuminator. Perfect. And also come with a battery. So if you have a 18650 lithium battery, it will replace two of this, or you can use two of this too. I'm not sure this is char rechargeable. This is not rechargeable. This is just a straight battery one, but I do have the rechargeable ones I can use. Perfect. And comes down to the actual scope. Very large scope. Humongous. Okay, so on the website I was looking at 4 to 12 and I was calculating all different stuff, but actually it's, this is just a different size. It's not for 
front and 12 in the back. It's just 4 power to 12 power. So this is focus distance. Focus to distance, number 3. Turn on. And focus until radical is clear and sharp. Okay, there's the power. And OK and left to right. And looks like there's also symbol says record and take a picture. And something there. And turn to zoom. Okay, this is turn for zoom. Not battery component, okay? Number six, until content, remove or rechargeable. Okay, it's made in China. Number five, right here, update firmware. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, update firmware. You'll need an SD card and insert SD card to scope. Update firmware, stick into SD card and stick the SD card into the scope, okay? Here's that. And here's the SD card location. Perfect. Oh, lithium ion battery. So you have to charge it up before you can go anywhere. Okay, let me do that and then come back to the video. So this is how I charge the scope before I start using it. And that's the USB-C. It goes into it. And I come 80% charged. So I'm going to charge the rest. So while we're waiting for the scope to be charged, let's look at this box. Auxiliary Ballistic Laser 1000 Laser Range Finder. So like I said, it is 1,063 yards. This is the meter. Okay. I'm going to open this up. Open this up. Owner's manual. Very cool. There's that. Tools. And it comes to brackets. That spacer. And this thing in the front. A little dusty. So the thing about this is um, it is only U.S. Uh, you will get fined if you bring this outside the United States. I believe it's a U.S. military grade. And the technology is only for United States. I'm not sure. And here's that. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe for the barrel. Uh, here. It's a bunch of different things. Okay. So X side, this one. This there's that's this is the model I have. Before that guy. I guess you just slide this in. Something like that. And here's the battery. You stick it in into this. Okay. To see how they installed this, uh, I have to YouTube it. On and off. On, standby, and off. Very cool. All right. And quick, it is waterproof. Okay? So you can take this outside into the woods and have water on it. It's okay. I'm going to film this while I'm doing whatever. Okay, so I'm reading the owner's manual. It says the battery goes in this way. That's why it draws. So battery goes in view about a total 20 inch long distance so if you have a brake barrel you want to be able to set this all the way back which is okay since if you look at it it's identical so it is a one inch riser okay and this is the ir illuminator and i just realized you see the symbol right here you can adjust this to a focus light it's a you see this ring it just gets bigger to this amount of adjustments. And then you can turn it back and then seal it back in, okay? So that is a lot of adjustments. I got this as uh, adapter for my air rifle. What it is, it should be a dovetail to Picatelli rail. So we'll be installing this right now. That's really cool, there's two nuts. Let's see how that works out. And on the side. Okay, currently walks through my current setup, okay? Okay, the current setup is we have a bipod, swivel bipod can go to the back, middle, and front. It's a brake barrel, so I have to clear the scope right before that. It's a dovetail. Rail. Okay, it was a, it was a factory gimbal. Scope. 3x9. And we have a laser with adjustments, finger point adjustments. And we have a green flashlight for night use. Okay, in my mind, I want to be able to keep at least the laser on the new 
scope. So if I adjust the range finder up and I can use on both ends, it'll be great. So I'm going to try that first. Okay. Before that, I gotta take this off. So seal the cap from the rear, put the back, okay, store, store that. Now, question is, how do we set this thing up? Okay, I got this installed. Okay, it, it's a little crooked, so I'm gonna have to adjust, make sure the scope is flat when it's on the, on the gun. So next, idea is to have the scope sits up high like this so it seems like we do have enough room front and back and not to mess up the brake barrel okay Okay, I think I finished it. So in the end, I mount the laser on this end, the IR on this end, and I went ahead and mount the rangefinder on top. And this way, the whole gun is basically set for day day hunt, night hunt, and the IR. Okay, so I changed the new setup. Um, and turn the table around so I can use more of a platform that this way I can get more range um, outside the door otherwise I'm stuck with this range and I can stick all the way out and go from here all the way to there very far so that's one upgrade or improvement what I did is I turned off the ballistic calculator uh, basically using the range finder to find this particular cut target it's exactly 19 yards so I hit this circle I made the first thing so I put and I was aiming here, I put a hole straight through it, um, so the other shot, which is a little higher than that hole right about here, right there. So I put another shot, I moved it up just by maybe a few millimeters, and I put it right below that hole. And I hit it again, and I went through the same thing. So four shots, I went through the same hole at 19 yards. So I decided, well before I did that, uh, first shot I tried to aim, it wasn't even on board. So I went to hit the dirt. I was, I was aiming at this point, right where those two houses reach two ridges comes in this this line and that line comes in and right about here and the shot lands somewhere here in this region so when I was shooting at this point I think the shot went right about there and um so I moved across here all the way to here somewhere and I moved down here this is a pretty flat surface with a dirt and I was aiming at this point right about there and the shot landed about here so that dirt got disturbed so I was aiming at this point, and the dirt went here. So it went from here to here. So I moved my arrow across here, over here. And then, that's when the story begins. I'm aiming at this point, and it lands right here. I readjust it, land it right here, right here, right here, right here. So right about here. In my previous video, I believe this was 30 yards. I guess it wasn't. Uh, I was fairly correct about 21 yards, 20 to 21 yards here. But that's only 25 yards away. So disregard all the video, approximate yardage. But this is a 
this is a new rangefinder with a laser, so it's very accurate. And the thing about this particular scope is you have to keep readjusting the front side and the rear side to get very accurate imaging. Otherwise, it looks foggy and pixelated. So now there, there we go. See how nice that look, crispy looking. So I got into shoot it again just to prove to you guys. After zero and 19 yards, let me shoot it again with a with a rangefinder so you guys can see it. It dropped 19 yards, right? Okay. Then the ballistic arrow has changed to a different direction. And go ahead and point at the bell. The ballistic laser find, range finder it says 25 yards right about there. I'm going to hit this bell. It will readjust the radical and hit it. Ready, set, go. Look at that. Oh my fucking god. That bell is less than one inch. Now readjust the pellet location, the radical, and hit dead center on the belt. This is amazing. It means, check this out. Let's go ahead and do that. That piece of wood, how far is that? It says it's 31 yards. Okay, I should be able to hit straight on to that board. Let's go ahead and shoot it. One, two, three. Right freaking arm. We nailed that. I'm not sure you guys can hear it. The pellet land right about there somewhere. The wood click. Also earlier, I was testing out the recording for the VR, uh, not for the ATM, and I was shooting this log. I mean, zone, which log am I shooting? I'm shooting this log it was 30 yards and I found out where the hole is look at that you see that hole right in the middle dead on the camera on the ATM is not as good as this one this is a 20 megapixel so I have extent zoom on it real camera but the ballistic calculator did a 30 yard dead on into that piece of wood it was amazing it hit the bell dead on Let's see if I can zoom in. It hit the belt right on until it smashed the belt right in the middle. Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful scope.